in here. Hello, why? Oh, she's not in the room, she's gone. She's probably just got confused again. Did you lock the door when we left? No, she's not a pet, she's got a key. <coughs> oh, that burns. Oh, she wants more pillows and less pillows than they're too rough. Calm down. You'd think after all the hassle we'd gone through, she'd appreciate the effort. You go downstairs and wipe the eyes out. I'll sort it. Come in. George. Yes, sir. George Trickett. Do come in, George. What do you think? It's rather basic. Almost like the artist did not really intend to create this image, but the brushstrokes just led him to it unintentionally. Shame, really. It could have been something more inspiring, but it's just become this. Like a broken train of thought. Interesting. It wasn't quite what I had in mind when I painted it. You enjoy the view, Mum. It's all yours. Do you mind if I have a little rest for a while? No, of course not. You go ahead. Tell me about that portrait. First saw it was doing some detective work. Back then, there were all sorts of dodgy dealings going on. So I was called in to check the place out. I was asking people questions, searching for anything suspicious. And that's when I first saw it. The beautiful portrait of Mrs. McLaughlin. I couldn't believe my eyes. Your grandfather Henry has been with us since he was 14. Your father was the same. Till the war robbed us of his street. Terrible waste. All right, don't worry. Just make sure you get everything on the list. Really add to me again. Tartan paint, skateboard ladders, and a long way. It was brought by a richer man until a thief stole it from him. And I had to find it. Which I did, along with an identical forgery. The thief must have wanted to sell the fake, but I never did catch it. I returned one to the buyer, and I kept the one for myself. What can I say? I'd fallen in love. But something wasn't right. 